Morning everyone, welcome to another video. It's been about four weeks, hasn't it? It's been about a month since I last uploaded. A um, number of reasons, busy with work, weather's not been great, not had anything to film. Um, but today, I'm on a day off, I'm enjoying my day off. The first thing we're doing this morning is bright and early, I'm going to be going out and getting my hair cut. So you might be thinking, well, why, why did you bring us on for his hair cut? Well, it's more what I'm going to be taking. Yeah, I think you're going to enjoy this one. I think you're going to enjoy this one. So what we're going to do is get this bin shifted, get this garage door open, and reveal to you what we've um, what we're going to be going into there. Where it is then. Bet he's a few just, here it is. I bet a few of you are shocked, aren't you? Yeah, I'll admit it's not my car. I'm looking after it for somebody over the winter period because they don't have a garage. But I'm gonna take this opportunity now, get it out, give it a blast off. I'm hoping it's gonna start because it's not it's not been turned on for about three weeks. So I don't know if the battery's gonna be dead or not, but hopefully it will. If it's not, this will be a short video of watching me take it out and put it away. If it is, if it will start then you know we'll um, we'll, we'll go for a bit of a drive and We'll get them. We'll, um, I'll, I'll bring you up to speed on the video. the dirt flicking up on my eyes. But yeah, we're in it started, it started, so. Right then guys, um, so yeah, it's been an exciting morning. It's one of the better haircuts that I've ever had. Um, if you're ever in the Preston area, Longridge area, and you need an haircut, make sure you check out the guys up at uh, Ike's Gentleman's Lines. I'll put a link into the Instagram in this in this post and in this description on the website and stuff. Awesome, guys. That's why I always go for my haircuts. Uh, back to the car, then. I don't really know what to say. Like I say, it's not mine. Um, I'm looking after it for the winter for someone. Someone's asked me if they can keep it in the garage. I said, yeah, no problem. As long as you leave me the keys, then I can have a go, which they, they've agreed. Uh, this is the second time I've been out on it. It's not the, it's not the greatest weather, is it? You can probably see on, on the rear right there. It's absolutely filthy. Um, but yeah, let's let's have a quick look around then. This video is only going to be short, probably five minutes long, if that. Just me getting it out, getting the air cut, quick look around here, and then we're going to go and put it away because I've got some Christmas shopping to do today this afternoon. How exciting is that? So here we go. I don't really know what to say about the car, so obviously this is a kit car, um, it's by a company called Tiger, this is the Avon Roadster model, so it's a Tiger Avon Roadster, I believe it's Ford Sierra based, um, and it has got a 2 litre um, Ford Pinto in it, Not again I'm not going to stand here and start quoting figures and bits and pieces because I don't really know, like I, like I said it's not my car, just looking after it, yeah this wheel actually is black, it's black here, um, had a bit of accident damage on this on this uh, rear wheel arch here, so that's been repaired. It, it's it's been painted black. It's, it's primed. It's just ready for um, for painting. That, so yeah, I, I don't really I don't really know what to say. Just it's just an awesome, awesome, awesome little toy. That's the only way I can describe this car. Everything 
is a, it just feels alive. Every time you touch the accelerator, every time you touch the brake, it just feels alive. It's literally the only way I can describe how this car feels is that it just feels alive. Um, it's got a four badge air on the front, because like I say, um, the owner of this, so the owner is my dad, and it's a massive Ford fan, hence why I am. Um, so it's Ford Sierra base, that was the donor car, and it's got a Ford Pinto in it, so that's hence why it's got a Ford badge on the front. Uh, but it is by a company, like I say, by a company called Tiger. It's a Tiger Avon Roadster. Um, it's got disc brakes on the front, um, and it's got it's got drums, drums on the back. Um, I wish I could stand here and quote figures. I wish I could stand here and tell you all about it. I wish I could give you all the statistics and the weight and the power to weight ratio and it's got this gearbox and that gearbox but I, I, I'd be lying I don't know all I know is it's an absolute pleasure to drive I've never had so much driving fun in my life when you get in this thing you can forget all your supercars your Ferraris your Lambos this will get more attention going down the street than any supercar in the world I promise you that um, it's an absolute laugh uh, me and my girlfriend went out on it a couple of weeks ago and she absolutely hated it but loved it at the same time. Uh, if you're a car guy, then you need to have a go in one of these. You need to experience what something like this feels like. Obviously the crater rims and the Lotus 7s and things like that, that's what this is based on, innit? Um, but yeah. Yeah, so I think I've just decided as well that the, the, this might be a bit of a clickbait, clickbait for the, uh, the the name of the video. So it's going to be called Taking the Tiger for an Haircut. So yeah, I've had the haircut, but this, this, is, um, this is a Tiger Avon Rose, as I've already said. So that, that's why this name of the video is going to be called Taking the Tiger for an Haircut. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. I'll probably make a quick montage of me sticking it back in the garage. If you want to see this again on the channel, then, then let me know and we'll do a bit more in depth. We'll do a bit of a driving thing with it, yeah? Hope you can go enjoy this video, guys. Cheers. So that's it then. Now I'm back in the garage, as you've just seen. Um, like I said earlier in the video, I wish I could stand there and quote figures and what it is and the engine and what type of gearbox it's going to, but I can't. Uh, I might make a video, I might get the, the documentation off my dad and make a video and start quoting them figures if that's something you're interested in, or I might just take it out again and take it for a bit of a hoon, fuck a GoPro up. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Cheers, guys.